I am the way I am because of Khan. I believe in Khan. I believe in the work of advocacy. I believe that Khan have made me to be strong. It's essential that Khan listens to everyone's experiences. Khan listens to promote change within the system. They listen to learn because people make mistakes. Many people don't know the process. Can works to advocate to change the system here in Canada. Can stands for Community Action Network. Can is a innovative approach to bring people who have lived experience uh, with different barriers, including poverty, to advocate for social change. So we take them through um, understanding this work within the context of human rights, and then we move on to showing them the ability to change. So public speaking, either speaking to the media, speaking to uh, decision makers, or even community members to educate what's going on. And I think the, the skill to be able to convey a message in a way that others understand is a game changer. And this is something I see also within a lot of CAN leaders. They face issues, they learn how to go through it, and they pass on that knowledge to others because they don't want what happened to them to happen to other people. CAN is, it's really what it's in the name. It's a community action network. So if we break down each of the letters, it is community, but it's also community of those voices who have been seldom heard and seldom represented in City Hall. Uh, it's action, it's, it goes beyond just consulting, it's actually collaborating on city projects, particularly ones that deal with many social conditions, where city staff historically have not had the lived experience to make meaningful recommendations. So that's the action part. And network is really a network between community, the city, nonprofits, and everyone to actually get at a holistic way of dealing with many of these social conditions that are all too much of a reality in, in the city we find ourselves. At CAN, I participate in workshops with many different topics. CAN also provides education and opportunities to speak out. I have been invited to share my personal life experience and what I've been through and to show others in the community. I love to give out my, my lived experience so that it can impact even someone who doesn't have hope or just to get into a, a platform which you feel like this is a place I want to be. So I, I just love the way that when I landed to Cannes, I was broken, like I was not totally healed. And that is why I, I, I call it a transformation. It's like it transformed me to who I am today. Many people have never met a deaf person. Being the first deaf person they meet, when sharing my experience, there's a lot that can be learned and it's impactful. I've been invited many times to offer presentations about my life experience and the help and support that I receive from CAN. I'm proud to be involved with CAN and stand up for my rights. I don't need to be afraid or hidden away. I have the right to share my experience as well. And when others move to Canada, we should offer that same help and support. I think it's actually bringing different voices and perspective to City Hall. I think it actually represents a form of decolonizing work where the way that decisions are made are actually more collaborative. They understand the interconnection between things and they're actually based more on um, moving the planning work from, from the brain more to the heart, which can actually lead to much more meaningful decision making. It's really passing on the baton. I feel fulfilled when I see the transformation and um, I'm delighted when I see that I've had a, a, a role in their transformation as we move along. People don't know how hard it is to be deaf. It is very, very difficult compared to someone who can hear. There are so many barriers. I want to be that example that deaf people can. If a person says they can't or are afraid to say something, I help them by speaking out. Yes, through CAN I've been able to be selected in advisory committee in the New West City. In the advisory committee, you are representing the community. 
the rights of communities. You are bridging the community and the city of Westminster. So you are an advocate. And that is what I love most. They made me to be Margaret and a strong Margaret. Not the Margaret used to be before, but Margaret for today. And I feel this is a beginning. Yes. When you bring someone who's never been heard, not only you show them how they can advocate, but they also he hear the voice, see how they change in society. They feel empowered and they can move mountains.